So I'm a software developer and uh, these days software developers are, are quite important influential in the world in some places um, and sometimes we get asked important questions. Sometimes uh, if I'm sitting down for dinner with my kids they'll ask me a question for example what is a monad? Um, and we have to have answers for these questions. Um, so quite often what I do is I know where the true wisdom lies in my household so I just say to them ask your mother. Um, sometimes I want them to explore the question a little more, uh, think it through for themselves. So I might say to them, no one can be told what a monad is. You have to see it for yourself. Uh, but sometimes I feel like I just need to be honest with them and tell them how it really is. So I'll say to them something like this. No one knows. Everyone is pretending. But then when I truly want them to follow the paths of wisdom, I might say to them something like this. First, unit test a function that prints output. Then, you will know. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, let's have a look at a function like this called estimate. What estimate does is it estimates the value of pi and prints it out to standard output. This is C++ code. Um, and it does that by printing three, th three things to standard output, 3.1. Um, so that's fine, that's a function, it might or might not work, but how would I unit test that function? I might start by trying to write a unit test like this. I'd call the function and I'd try and make some kind of assertions. But of course there's nothing I can assert about the world, um, that the world outside has changed because something has appeared in standard output. So what I need to do is change my estimate function a little bit. So what I might want to do is something like this, where I make a fake world, and then I run the estimate function, I pass in my fake world, um, and then at the end I can um, express my assertion now, which is that the standard output um, that was passed to my fake world was the correct answer, 3.1. Now I want you to think about one more thing other than just testing this function. I want you to imagine that everything is immutable, so nothing can ever change. So um, a test like this won't really work because fake world is being changed here when, when we pass it into estimate. So we don't want to do quite that. We want to do something that looks a bit more like this. We want to make a fake world. Then we want to pass that into a function called estimate2. And estimate2 passes back um, a new world which has been changed, or which is a, a changed version of the old world. So the old world hasn't changed because nothing can change. Everything is immutable. But we have this new changed world which expresses uh, what, what would have happened in reality if we weren't doing this in a test, if we were doing it in the real world. Now we can make this assertion um, that we, we did indeed print 3.1 to standard out, or we would have if fake world was actually a real world. So once we've done this, you now know enough to know what a monad is. Um, uh, just, to, just as a side point, um, we can still use this estimate2 function to actually do stuff in the real world, we just pass it a real world, and that real world W will actually print stuff to standard output. So what is a monad? Um, well, it's something that makes a transformation of our code, and here is what estimate2 looks like. Um, it's a templated C++ function, but really you don't need to worry about that if you don't know what that means. All it is is um, uh, estimate uh, does exactly the same, estimate2 does exactly the same as what estimate did, uh, except every time where before we called printf, now we call a function called print on world, which passes back a new world which has been changed um, by printing happening. Because that's how, um, in this situation where nothing ever changes, um, and you can only get new copies of things, that's the way to um, make it kind of look like something changed because you're passing back a, a modified copy. So now we can see what estimate2 looks like, and we remember what estimate looked like. What a monad is, is actually something that transforms um, estimate into estimate2. So um, we're looking at C++ code here, or normally we talk about monads in Haskell, but if we were, had them in C++, they would basically be something that took a function that looks like estimate um, and transforms it without you having to type all of that stuff into a function that looks like estimate2, which is uh, testable, which has a, where you can see the effects that it has by based on its return value and also that works with uh, immutable things, or things that never change. And that's all that a monad is. If we look at the Haskell um, for a similar function, uh, basically that um, I.O. thing 
which um, is difficult to understand, which is a monad. Actually, what that means is make the same kind of transformation um, of the function, how it looks on the left, into something that looks pretty much um, like the estimate2 function that we had. And that is what a monad is. A monad is a thing that transforms a function so that it returns the thing it does stuff to instead of kind of doing it into the ether. That's it.